Okay, uh, today we are going to upgrade the new, the old MJO 808 with the new Cree XML LED. I'm going to try and do it as simple as possible. Um, easiest thing to do with this magic shine is that you just remove the end cap and screw it like that. Put it down. And then remove this little plastic ring. It usually comes out pretty easily. And do not forget this. It's very important. First thing you'll notice, <coughs> there is a ring. You can see there, there is a ring there. Personally, you don't need to remove it. Um, I wouldn't, but for to make it easier, to do this upgrade, we will do this. I use these long nose pliers. You can use any. It fits in nicely right there. And I just twist. Then um, take a screwdriver and you rotate that out. Remember the way that it came in because the frets need to line up so it goes in that way, you need to put it down that way. Okay, next big step is removing this foot piece. Um, Basically, just unscrew it. There we go. It's off. Pull this little rubber back, and then you can push out this little thing here. Yeah. Right. There you go. Now, you need a thick nose uh, soldering iron. I use one. If you don't have one, it's not a trash bag. Basically, this solder that one. And desolder that one. There we go. Okay, kids. Well, look carefully now. It is now the difficult part. You need to take the screwdriver and unscrew the screws. Yeah, I know. It's, it's complicated. I know. Um, it helps having the right screwdriver. This is definitely not the right screwdriver. This is too big. But anyway, um, you can put that little screw away. You will not be using them again. And you remove this little screw here. Right. If you're lucky, you can just pull it off. See the soldering piece at the back? There you go. Now, right, phase two inserting the optical spacer. Um, what is this? This is a very precisely measured little piece of device that helps you focus your little XML. You would notice on this XML it's significantly smaller than the um, original um, B7. problem with that is, is the focal point of your um, reflector is not in the right place. This will alleviate that problem. Now step number one is to um, put some soldering paste on the back of this. Watching I supplied a little tube um, that is very handy. Um, I suggest using that. Uh, if you have other thermal paste, great, use that. Doesn't really matter as long as there is thermal paste between um, these two. This little hole there, you can see. Um, yes. Now you need to put thermal paste in the back of the lid. Okay. And suddenly, okay, there we go. There we go. Don't put too much, just enough to cover the base. It will spread out as long as they're nice contact. There's a plus sign. I don't know if you can see it. There's a plus on the LED. The plus goes with the red and the black with the black. There are three pluses and there are three minus. You can choose which way one you want to do. Okay, we're nearly done. I like to use my little soldering pen to hold it down for me so that I take my soldering and then you heat, you put the solder on the solder tip so you have some nice heat transfer and you solder a little blob there. Make sure there isn't too much. Alright. 
I just use my finger like that and then touch it like that there we go black is all you repeat the process for the positive there we go there we go Okay. And usually at this stage you burn yourself and you think why did you do this? Correct. Okay. Um before we reassemble, let's just test the LED the LED. Okay, usually at this stage I turn my I close my eyes. Um because some of them turn on when you have to Okay. Let's see, did it work? Yes it did. It works. Okay, there's the modes. Okay. Remember to close your eyes when you do this. The light is so bright, it will shine right through your eyelids. And you will definitely know it's on or not. Uh, it will cause radio damage if you look at this thing. Um, to, yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Now, the next major thing to do, um, and this is much easier to do done with the little syringe that I gave you, is to put a little stemmer base on the inside of this. What? Yeah, of this system right there. The reason why is you want as much heat transfer between that, the inner body, and now you can use the earbud for this. And as I say that, I realize I should have had my earbud here, <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't. Okay, so I'm now. Put a little bit of fill base on the inside, um, right there. You notice there wasn't much on there to begin with. Now I just usually pull this little wire, not too hard, until it slides this little baby right back in to where it should be. Now, tricky part is getting this baby back. Um, usually, usually it's it's a bit difficult. Oh, but that one went perfectly. There you go. Uh, the phrase doesn't, if you put it the wrong way around, the phrase doesn't normally want to go. Okay, there we go. Then you can take a screwdriver and just turn it in. Yes. Back we go. Okay, remember I noticed I didn't put the screws back in. The reason is the screw lines don't line up with this uh, star. It's not a problem. Because of the fact that the whole star is forward, the reflector will push it back into the... Uh, I think this one as well. Let me just twist it further. There we go. Oh, okay, make sure it's nice and tight, eh? Hey? Tight. Tight like a tiger. Right, and you put... Very importantly, you put the scratch plate, the wear plate between them. Notice there, I didn't... You can see, I don't know if you can see. I didn't make I made sure that the two wires as far as possible from the LED as I can because the reflector tends to want to seat on those points which will make a warp which is not what you want. Now there we go, you screw it back in and if you're not sure you screw it a little bit more. So make sure there's no wear plate showing out, and there you go. Now you take the little bar rubber, you push it back to where it needs to go in front. See that? And then you take this little baby, you put the little screw on top, and you take your screwdriver and you screw it on. Make sure the rubber is right. There, there we go. One last test. Did it work? The light goes on. And let's see, did it work? It did. Something you need to notice, you need to look out for. When you did this wrong and you did make a mistake with the wires, there shouldn't be a black ring in the center. Now there's no, there's no black ring or a little black ring. It could be a little black ring, but if there is huge deformity of this beam pattern, I would say you made a mistake. Well, guys, that was the XML upgrade. Hopefully you guys now know what to do in the future.
And yeah, give me a ring.